Okay, here's a Sudoku. Sudoku. And these are 4x4 four four squares. So the object is, let's concentrate on this first square over here, is in each row you need to get 1 to 4. All the numbers 1 to 4 without repeating. So here's easy, we're just left with one space that has to be a 1. So, and then each column has to have 1, 2, 3, 4 without repeating. But then also each square, each four squares in the top right, the bottom right, the bottom left, and the top left. So in this top right square, we also need the numbers. 1, 2, 3, 4, without repeating. So we're left with 1 here, we know we're missing a 2. So then that would give us this row, we know we need a 3 there. Or we could go by the top left box, and we know we also need a 3 there. So that confirms it, a 3. Then in this column we're left missing 1, or the bottom left box we're missing 1. Which number are we missing? We need the numbers 1, 2, 3, and 4. So yeah, you're right, 2. We're missing 2. So what would you do next? We could do this column. We could do this row, because there's only one left. We wouldn't start with the bottom box, because we might have to do some guessing. So what are we missing in this column? We need the numbers 1, 2, 3, and 4. You're right, we're missing a 1. And then in this row, we could do this row first, or this row first, because they're both just missing one. We wouldn't want to do the column, because it's hard to guess where would the two go and where would the three go. So let's start with this row. Which number are we missing in this row? We need the numbers one, two, three, and four. You're right, we're missing two. So that leaves us with the bottom right square, we could fill in 3, or with the bottom row, we could, we're could missing a 3, or with this column, last column on the right, we're missing a 3. So that would complete our Sudoku 4x4 four four square puzzle. So if you want to pause the video and solve these puzzles, go ahead and do that now and then I'll show you how I'll solve them okay welcome back okay I'm gonna start with this bottom row or the bottom right square I know I'm missing a one then in this column I know I'm missing a three and then let's see I know I need a four and a 2 here, but I'm not sure which spot. So I know I need 1, 2, 3, 4 here. So let's say the 4 can't go on this side. The th so let's say the 3. Okay, the 3 can't go on the top row, and the 3 can't go in this column. So I can't have two threes repeating in this top row. So the three in here cannot go here or here. Also in this column, there's a three. So I can't put the three here or here. So we can't put the three there because of that row or that. In this column, we can't put the three. So we know we're left here. We must put a three right there. And then we can continue. So now we're left with a column here and we know we're just missing one number. We need the numbers one to four. We're missing a one. So we'll put that there. Here we know we need a um, two and a four 
and a 2 and a 4 here. So I think we get to pick the order. So 2, 4, 4, 2. And there you could have switched those. You could have put... That's the only spot. You could have alternated two numbers here, here. So you could have started the 4 there, the 2, the 2, the 4. That's also correct. But on, in this puzzle, you can only switch these two and these two numbers. So if you had the opposite, you're correct. If you have this, you're correct. So now we can go to this puzzle here. And we'll start off. Okay, in this row. So, well, let's start with the fours. Because of this row, I know the four can't go here. In this column, I know the 4 can't go there, so I have a 4 there, then I know this column is missing a 2, then this row is missing a 3, then I see this column is missing a 2, then I see this bottom right box here is missing a 3, and I see this bottom row is missing a 2. And I see this bottom left box is missing a 3. And this top left box is missing a 1. And we have here, we could use the row, the column, or the top right box to solve that one. 2. So. Here we could start with the top row, we're missing only one number, which happens to be the 1. Also in this top left box, we could see we're only missing one number, which happens to be the 2. Then we could go to this row, this column, this column, this row, this column, this column. So this is an easy solution, we're only missing a 1 in this column this row we're missing only a 1 then we could go to this column we're only missing a 2 and let's go to this bottom right square here and we'll say we're missing a 1 then to this puzzle here in this top row we're missing a 1 now in this column we're only missing a 2 in this row we're only missing a 1 now this bottom right square we're only missing a 3. Now in this column we're only missing a 4. Now in this column we're only missing a 2. Now in this row we're only missing a 1. And in this row we're only missing a Two. And down to our last puzzle. In this row, we're missing a three. And in this column, we're missing a one. And let's see. We need a two and a one here. And this column has a one, so we can't put the one there. This row has a one, we can't put the one there. We have to put the 1 there, and that leaves us with this bottom right box. We need a 2, then we have these, this column we could go to, we're missing a 4. We could go to this column, and we're missing a, we have 1, 4, 3, we're missing a 2. And we could go to... Four a little bit. Four. So then we could say we go to this row and we're missing a one. Then we could go to this row and we're missing out of one, two, three, and four. We're missing a four. Then we could go to this column 
to get that square, we could use the bottom left four squares to get that square, or we could use the bottom row to get that square. And each way we could see we're missing a three. And that solves our four by four pseudo puzzles.